Hey everyone, the Lux Academy, Jerry Couture here again. Now in the last video, I told you that I'd be showing you some popular songs um, that you can use these four chords with we learned in the last lesson, right? With G major, D major, E minor, and C major. Now, these chords don't necessarily have to be in specific orders. I mean, it, the order of them can change for different songs and different feels and stuff like that. However, the one I just played specifically is extremely popular, right? So it's called the one, five, six, four chord progression. And actually it's interesting, if you look at it, we have G, C, D, and E, right? These are the, th these are the, the letters in the correct order. Now for counting with the alphabet, remember the musical alphabet goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and that's it, and then it starts over. So we call it G number one, because that's the one we started with, G, a, B, C, four, D, five, one, two, three, four, five, and E would be the next letter, which is six. So those, we're just going in order, and we're using that, so I called it a one, five, six, four earlier, right? G major, D major, C major, E minor, in that order. So they called that, we use numbers, and it's pretty logical, right? One, five, six, four, because of the order of the notes. So a one, five, six, four chord progression is like the most common chord progression for pop songs in general. And this goes over all kinds of genres, punk music, rock music, you know, pop music, soul. I mean, it, it goes throughout all the genres, but basically in popular music in general, with whatever genre that is, you're gonna find a lot of these. It's just something phenomenal, I think there's some phenomena about this combination of sound that just feels right to us and we use it, right? So anyway, let's check out a few of the songs where you guys can start playing that. So let's check out some songs, right? Let's say Let It Be by the Beatles, right? example, right? And I'm playing G major, D major, E minor, and C major in that order, one, five, six, four. There's so many songs like this. Or how about I'm Yours by Jason Mraz, right? 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 You know what I'm talking about? And I'm playing the same. And it's basically that throughout the whole song. There's a few other chords in there, but you can get started on these songs right away if you know them just by using these four chords. Or how about Price Tag by Jesse J? You know that's like not about the money, money, money. Na 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 na. Now I gotta tell you something. That's not exactly the chords in that song. There's one thing that's different, however, it works, all right? <laughs> so basically it's the same, and I would think it's acceptable to use that, all right? Um, or Don't Stop Believing by Journey, you know? You can kind of play, play a little more, you know? Something like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm just giving you the example, so. Anyway, also Bob Marley, No Woman, No Cry, use this chord progression, Adele, Someone Like You, and Umbrella even uses this, uh, Pink uses this in the song Perfect. I mean, there really are just so many pop songs, and these are relatively, some of these I mentioned are newer. However, you know, throughout the past 50 years, at least, a lot of our pop songs are using this chord progression. So, what I recommend you do is practice these four chords in that order, just playing them straight, like this. If you can just get used to changing them, this is the next step in the process. Now that we've learned the four chords, we have to be able to change them and change them in time. So after you memorize and get them down, the next step would be to start changing them in time. And it can be at a slower speed than this, it's fine, but if you can start doing that, You're going to be able to start singing a lot of songs, <laughs> alright? And 
Also, if the songs are in a different key and you want to play with them, you can just use a capo and move this same shape up with these same four chords and you can still play all these songs that way. So I recommend having a capo. Um, if you want to use these same shapes and move them around, you can do it, all right? So anyway, in this video, I'm just sharing that why, partially why this is so popular, a little bit. As I said, it's some, some, some type of phenomenon, really, I believe that, within this notes and this harmony and the way these chords go together. And it happens not only in popular music, I mean, it's happening all over the place. In classical music, it's happening everywhere. We're using this combination because it allows for these really wonderful melodies. So we get all these great songs and it just feels right to sing. People, you know, naturally it just feels nice. And there's something more to it, you know, that's what I'm telling you. So get these four chords down, it's going to feel good. And in the next video lesson, I'm going to be showing you specific rhythms and patterns that you can play. The step now in the process is for you to be able to start changing these chords, kind of changing them in time. That's what I want you to work on and also just look up one, five, six, four songs and start right away with the songs that you like. You can start singing like I did, uh, not, maybe not like me, <laughs> but you can start singing these songs and using, um, using the ones that you like, if you, if you like to sing, you know. I'm just, I'm not a singer, but I just want to give you the example of how you can use it. So anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Check out some songs from the list I gave or from anywhere on Google. Try to start putting it together and try to start changing in time. And then stay tuned for the next video where I show you the strumming patterns because now we're going to take it a step further and get the rhythm down real well. And when you sing these songs, it's going to sound really great. All right. So thanks so much for watching. Get to practicing and I'll see you in the next lesson.